Hello guys, I would like to give you a short introduction on how I used Flagger to do the to do the kernel deployment for the Sockstrop application. All the commands which I'm going to use during this demo are you can find them on this URL, and uh, there is also a description how I installed my Kubernetes cluster in Azure and what services I'm using there. It's not going to be part of the demo to describe that because that will take quite a long time. Anyway, uh, I'm using the Flux to synchronize my Git repository with my Kubernetes cluster. Uh, that's really handy for the GitHub because uh, everything that is in your Kubernetes cluster is automatically synced by Flux and uh, all the manifests are stored the in the Git repository. Uh, so I just create uh, the Suckshop manifest and import it, it and push it into the Git repository. Uh, let's check how the repository look like. And one more thing which I shouldn't forget is uh, I will just go quickly through the Sockshop application, how it looks like, because that's what I would like to install to my Kubernetes cluster and use the Canary deployment. Uh, the important part for me is the front-end microservice, which I'm going to change. Uh, all the other microservices uh, will remain the same and uh, I will use the official images for, for this. Uh, the front-end front -end microservice, I create my own image, which I upload it into the uh, Azure Container Registry. Now let me just go quickly through the deployment manifest. So this is the Sockshop YAML, which I just uh, push into my Kubernetes. and uh, the original version you can find it on the Sockshop uh, web page uh, I have to modify it a little bit uh, because uh, I want to do the Canary deployment there so this is my modification I'm using the my own image which was uh, which is in Azure I also need to specify the Istio gateway uh, to be able to access the Sockshop uh, uh, application from the outside world. So I just need to export the HTTP and HTTPS. Uh, I removed the uh, service because uh, service creation is going to, to be done by Flagger. And the last thing which I changed is that I add a canary, uh, which is the CRD f uh, created by Flagger. And uh, here is the description how the canary deployment should look like. So I need to specify the uh, the the de deployment, its name, its its the front end application, and of course I need to specify the ports. Uh, the gateway which I is the gateway which I created before and also the host name uh, the important part about the are these parameters they specify how the canary deployment will look like uh, in this example um, I'm going to set uh, these steps uh, and uh, it means that every 10 seconds uh, five more percent of the traffic will be sent to the new version of the application so it every 10 seconds there will be 5 10 15 20 etc percent till 50 um, I'm not going to describe it because it will be much more easier when I will show it on the real example so 
so that was the SockShop application now I'm going to open a few more tabs so this is how the SockShops look like uh, for me it's important uh, this text which I'm going to change in a minute let's run a few flagger commands uh, which describes the status of the kernel deployment right now so this is this is the the canary which I created you can see there are similar variables which I defined before uh, flagger automatically created uh, the primary deployment and uh, forward traffic to this primary it also created the services and I mentioned previously that I don't need to create them or specify them uh, because Flagger will do it instead of me Flagger also take care about the virtual services which are part of the STO you can see uh, that uh, there is a destination set the destination rules which Flagger is going to change during the canary deployment and here are the uh, destinations destination rules itself one is going to the uh, primary and to the canary deployment when it is needed okay so I will go back to my git repository uh, I will go to the front-end repository where is the source code of the front-end microservice and I will change the text we love socks and I will commit the change so you can imagine that some developer is doing change to the application I need to create a proper release and now uh, I will execute the pipeline run which will take care about building uh, the new container image from the source code and immediately after that Flux will use this image to deploy it to my Kubernetes cluster and then Flagger will take care about the canary deployment so currently I changed the uh, destination for my new image which I'm going to upload to the Azure Container Registry and here I also create a new pipeline run so let me open the Tekton dashboard And in a few seconds um, this is the old pipeline pipeline run and this is the new one which was just created or actually it was created by flagger because I again put these details into my git repository So if I open it, you should see that the building process is just started, or maybe it's waiting for 
the container image to be downloaded. This process is using Canico, which is a tool written by Google for building the containers inside Kubernetes. Okay, I will keep it running because this will take about two minutes. And here I will open the team accession to check some interesting commands which will help me to see how the canary behaves. So in the first box you can see that I am using FluxCuttle just to check what versions of the image uh, Flux is seeing. So currently there is only one version in my Azure Container Registry and that's this version. The Another window is just getting, just showing the curl and it's grabbing the string which I want to see. Uh, currently my application is the old one and it's still showing the, the old string which I am going to change. Uh, this window is contains the status of the kernel deployment. It's the lock of the uh, pot where the flagger is running. So you can see that uh, it's not doing anything right now because I just initialized the canary deployment but there is no new version of the image so it's just waiting. In the last window you can see there is there is a weight parameter which will show us the details when the canary will start these numbers will increase up to 550 and you can see that that's amount of traffic which is going to be forwarded to the new application new version of the application Okay, so it looks like pipeline run finished. You can see uh, there should be a new version of the image. Here they are. And Flux immediately finds out that there is a new version of the container image. And it will modify the deployment to switch to the new version in a few seconds. Here it is. Right after Flagger will start uh, the Canary deployment and uh, it will start forwarding 5% of the traffic to the new version of the application. So let me open the application you can see there is a new string which I, I used but it's not all the time it, it's just a 15% right now so if I will ref refresh it multiple times you will see this is changing yeah here it is again So it's slowly, and the flagger is slowly changing the amount of the traffic. Currently, it's about 35% of the traffic is going to the new version. Here you can see the curl is also sometimes hitting the, the new version of the application and the old one as well.
and when this number reach 50% then flagger will forward all these traffic to the new version so it means that the migration between old and new version will be completed it should happen in a few seconds And this means that uh, the migration between old and new is over. And right now, I will be only seeing the the new version. So this will be shown to all the users which will access this URL. So this is pretty much all I wanna wanna show. This is a simple way how you can do the canary deployment in Kubernetes using Flagger, Flux, and of course you will also need Istio and a few more components. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.